Hello, welcome to tutorial of, of serious game challenge Geometallurgy. Uh, my name is Perti Lamberg and I'm professor in Geometallurgy, Luleå University of Technology. So first of all, I'm logged in the system. You need to get a username and a password to the system and I'm logged in. So I'm going now to play the game Challenge Geometallurgy. I can see a save uh, which has been created. So I start this save. And uh, normally you can't create a new saves. You work with the one save. When you start the game, you have an inf uh, 10 by 10 uh, or blocks in a one level and you have information on geology grain size whole stroke grade in addition you have an information on assays so iron silica uh, etc like uh, phosphorus and you can view this uh, information also, you can have a look of those that information in data tables. So, geology, one hundred blocks, assays. Here they are, and if you want to copy them, you just paint and then uh, Control C. Make a control C. If you want to copy the full, so it's better to select first something and then scroll down and press shift click. Ah. You can. Okay. Then. Other information, mineralogy, geomet tests, grindability tests, etc., pilot tests. You can study what will be the information you can re uh, receive by purchasing them. But in the beginning, you don't have that information. So I'm returning back to game. And now I'm selecting purchase order. And I have a budget here for. 20 mineralogical analyses, 30 geomet tests, 20 grindability tests, 10 metallurgical tests for line 1, 10 metallurgical tests for line 2, and then 3 for pilot tests for line 1 and line 2. So I select purchase order and then I'm selecting a, a method. I want to get mineralogy and there's nothing there. So I select this and I purchase a mineralogical analysis. And now I can have I will I have an information on the mineralogy, grain ore type, grain size, magnetite, hematite, apatite, actinolite, albite, grade. And uh, then I can keep on going. For example, purchasing another mineralogical analysis and and so on and then let's say I want to have a look the geometallurgical test of line one don't have anything so I take this and purchase and then I will get information of like concentrate mass pool for example now so in this way I work out to uh, do analysis for the full budget and I'm using that information to trying to build up a predictive model how I can forecast what is the metallurgical response in the process and then I should calculate the economic value of each of this block just showing now how the data tables look here so if I take mineralogy there should be a couple of rows existing there and uh, metallurgical test 
there's a one row there. So they will appear in this table once you once you purchase these. Once you are ready, I've done that and making analysis, analyze the value of each block. So uh, these are the block IDs from one to uh, one hundred. Then the next stage is to start mining and you should do mining in a way that you get the best value first out and pay back the big debts you get by, by investing uh, uh, line, the investing for the concentrator or the plant so i go for mining and first of all i need to establish a uh, the uh, build the line, establish the lines, so the concentrators. So I establish line one, which is the magnetic separator, separation line. And now it shows that that line is empty. So show mind, there's no mind. To start the mining, I select a block, then I select line one and then I can mine this out and then it shows me now here the value and then uh, it shows also some information of the uh, of the time passing now I can build up the line 2 as well and line 2 is empty so also line 1 is empty so now I keep on mining so now I can select for mining these yellow ones uh, sorry yeah this uh, orange ones so I select this for mining and I will send it to line number 2 now I mine those two and the next my uh, box which are available are shown there so selecting this one and now I'm putting that into dump that's is not valuable so I have mined these three and now I have access I'm sitting here he, at the moment here and then I have access to these blocks I can also move to these blocks by selecting them and send then selecting move but I keep uh, mining so I take this one and then I select line one and mine and uh, now I have mined these blocks which are now mineable are these orange these ones I can't mine because I need to move back here if uh, if I want to mine because this is the distance I can move my mining units you know uh, in a one turn one round okay this way I keep on mining and I should get a finally by sending them in different uh, lines line one line two or dump getting the best economic value out of that and that can I can analyze in the economy okay this was short uh, tutorial for how to play the game so Hope you enjoy the game and uh, let the best uh, team win. Bye-bye.